up, you fools, Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. And we are going to talk about Hungary. Yes, Hungary just rehearsed for the very first time on this day four of rehearsals. I'm losing track already. Um, so a very, very different, I shouldn't say unexpected in Eurovision terms kind of song. So it was a very interesting staging. Um, they have four run-throughs, and at the very end we saw the whole product, I think we can say. There's a lot going on without being over the top, I personally believe, so I'm just going to go first myself because I keep talking. Um, the um, staging is like the there is a little two platforms, and on one platform is the drummer, and another one is the guitar player. Um, um, they're not high up, it's just like a little, a little slightly elevated. And then on the lead singers in the front of the stage, and then a few more... Um, guitar players around them and then he runs up the little bridge at some point off to the catwalk and interacts with the uh, non-existing crowd right now but he will at some point and then they just keep screaming and yelling and then the fireworks come on and I thought it was very interesting because it felt good from the beginning even the first one looked good there were some few camera angle issues but um, it was really when it came together with the fireworks that's like ah now I can feel the power behind it and just now I need the audience in there I need them in there now to really add more and I think once we have that this is going to be it's going to go big and I find it so fascinating I mentioned it before that um, I have so many like die-hard Eurovision fans like really like Eurovision geeks as they come and they love the <laughs> pop Eurovision mainstream songs you know like Fuego, Monsters and you know that kind of song good great music but it's a specific style that they like and they come up to me and they're like I don't hate Hungary. I kind of like it. I think that just speaks volume, I think, to how this has more of a mass appeal than a lot of people realize. So I feel really good about everything today. But I'm just rambling. What do you think, Chris? I think that it's a, it could be a dark horse, really. It could be one of those that you haven't paid a lot of attention to to begin with. But uh, they're really <laughs> great performers, one must say. Uh, they were great on stage. It worked very well, and they, again, it got better and better for each rehearsal. And uh, we had people clapping yes. in the press center. It went big in the uh, press it center. Went, it went huge, and with the crowd surfing as well, people reacted oh, yeah. very well to that. So I, I really do think that this um, we need this kind of we need this in the final. Yes. Oh, yeah. it kind of belongs. Yeah. It, 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 it belongs here to to show the diversity, so that we don't only have the pop dance uh, folk small sea ballads always yeah, like, yeah. small sea ballads <laughs> balkan ballads which we love yeah. but just to <laughs> just to show off i knew i know a lot of rock fans and yeah. they say always say to me when i talk with them every year they say oh i don't watch eurovision it's like for the pop but mm. but then I'm like, hey, we're quite. Uh, it has changed a lot. It the has context. Changed a lot. Yes, it changed a lot. So it's it's good to have a market. For there's that, yeah. there's something for everybody, and especially this year. I don't remember a year which has been so diverse. Diverse, yes. Did I miss anything in my description that we should point out? What did you think? No, I think you covered everything quite well. I mean, if people who watched uh, Adal and the, the national final, it's it's pretty much staying true to the performance. I mean, as a band, this is this is what they do. Yeah. This is what they want to do. They they are performers. Uh, now you did point uh, out something about the vocals, right? Uh, well, the only thing I'd say about the vocals is that they've got a, a new backing vocalist by the sounds of it. I don't know if it's like an extra member, like a live member of the band. Um, I think the, the mixing was probably not quite there, especially to begin with. It did get better, um, but it's it's not quite got the same impact as it did from the National Fire, where I think it was it was female backing vocalists, so it mm. had that sort of, you know, that variance. Um, but that, that's not to say that it's a, it's a yeah. problem, but uh, it's just they need to get the mixing right. Probably give them like a little bit more, because they're watching this video, I'm sure, you want to make sure yeah. that we, you know, we give criticism yeah. that's helpful. Yeah, but, um, you know, this, is, this song is absolutely necessary to Eurovision, yeah. and I'm so pleased and so happy that because I, I like Indian alternative music a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, my my normal taste and the Eurovision taste are kind of two separate things for me. So it, I'm really glad that there's something like this this year. And uh, in particular, I showed this song to my brother, who is like a you know heavy metal and, yes. and rock fan, and he loves it. He's been listening to their albums. So this has got a broad appeal to people who wouldn't necessarily normally watch Eurovision, which I know isn't great if people don't watch Eurovision. But I think for your casual viewer, they'll love this. Yes. And the performance is big. There's so much fire. So so many fireworks, you know, the stage diving, uh, and it's just it's just completely different. And I think it's going to stand out. The jury is going to appreciate the, the musicality um, of the band, and uh, I think it's it, it's going to do well. 
it's gonna do well. I agree. Now let's all take off our Eurovision geek heads, put them down, and think about this. Does this song going to is this going to qualify? Of course we all want it to qualify, right? I think we already made that clear. But do you think based on the song, the staging, just Eurovision in general, what you know, and your gut feeling as of right now, this may evolve. Will they qualify? I am gonna go first and I'll say yes. What do you think, Chris? I think yes as well. Okay, I, yeah. yeah. I really do. Simply because it appeals to non-Eurovision fans, people who tune in yeah. who wouldn't know about Eurovision at all. But Eurovision fans are also very much into it. That's but, the crazy part. But but, but it, it has a broad appeal. It, yeah. it has, I think this has a broader appeal that we actually give it credit for. Yeah, no, so, I, th I think yeah. we are, but most a lot of people yeah. aren't. <laughs> what yeah. do you think? I mean, because you've got to remember the people of Hungary who were watching the national final probably weren't all Eurovision fans, yes. you know, the, like diehard, but yeah. they saw something in it and they wanted to vote for it. Anyway. Um, I would say, yes, it's going to go through. And I actually think that the juries will support this more than the televote. That is a very daring uh, prediction there. I but just feel like they're going to appreciate the, the genre and the fact that they are, you know, a proper rock band, yeah. well, metal band, and, you know, this is what they do and this is their passion. And that is true. You make a good point because when you look at recent history in Eurovision, rock bands often do better with the jury's action with the televotes. Georgia 2016 they, comes to They mind. are, you know, music industry experts yes. and they actually appreciate the work that goes into these types of songs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. So that's our so three yeses. Looks good for Hungary. Let's see if they're going to keep it up. They have still a couple of rehearsals to go. So um, what do you think? Were you impressed? Are you happy with Hungary's performance? Are you excited? Let us know. You know there's a comment section below. We would love to hear. We'll respond back Subscribe. if you're nice. Subscribe. Well, thank you. See, I couldn't <laughs> do it. That's why you're on my team. And um, I'll see you soon. We're going to take a quick break and then we're going to watch Latvia next, I think. Yeah. Yay. See you soon.